We saw you uh, come out against you know, Creighton last week, you know, pretty aggressive off the shots, and now you just piling up the assists. Did that come from the same place in some ways, that just how it gets distributed within the offense, or were you looking for to be more of a, I guess, facilitator tonight? It's just whatever the defense gives, and they hard hedged it, and they stayed with me, so my job is when I draw two people on me is to get the ball in my hands, and I'm surrounded by great players, and so they can make plays, and I did my job and gave it to them. Brayton, can you just talk about what Fletcher does for the offense when he comes in? He really had a spark in the second half. Yeah, no, I mean, he has been in this program just as long as I have, and he understands the offense and how everything should go, and he's that vocal leader, and just having that um, just gets the guys going, and he brings energy, and he's obviously able to knock down a shot as well. So when he's doing that and playing hard on defense and talking to us, trying to get everybody going, it just makes all of our lives easier, especially in times when maybe we're all down. Fletcher, just how big of a weapon it is for you to be able to kind of get to the free throw line when you can? Is that something you're looking to do or only when you're stuck? Yeah, I think a big focal point for me has been getting in there and showing contact and getting fouls. I, I trust my free throw. I think I shoot at a really high rate. So if I can get six to seven on my game, it's, it's a free seven points. So I'm going to keep trying to do that. And uh, you just got to be more than just a three point shooter, being able to attack closeouts and getting to the guys. And, Get to that free throw line. it seemed like Coach Pan was going to let some guys play through some mistakes tonight. How valuable is that when you're trying to figure some things out? And then you saw the benefit kind of there late where I think Daniel got thrown a little bit. Jakari hits a big three when you guys needed one. It seemed like, you know, this was a game that maybe can benefit you because guys were in situations they haven't been in before. Yeah, I think that's the best thing about Coach Pan is he's. He trusts his guys, and he did that for me and Flash when we came in. He threw us in the fire and let us figure it out, and we ended up doing just fine. I think it's the same for all these other guys. Um, they got to figure it out at some point, and I think during these situations is the best time for that. And I thought our guys responded well, just like you said, Daniel and Jakari making big plays down and helping us extend that lead. Hey, what have progress have you seen from Daniel? Maybe even just in the last couple of weeks um, to get to a point where tonight, you know, nearly a double double with three blocks, but like the seven fouls drawn too, and, and being able to be productive in that facet of the game. Yeah, I think for him it's just getting used to um, you know playing in real games, not just practices. Um, obviously, practices as us three know get get called a little bit different than how the game gets called. Um, but yeah, just him working, especially ball screen for Braden and, and, and getting to his spots. Um, obviously, the big man at Purdue, he has plenty of people to look at and um, learn from. So he's done a terrific job of learning. Braden, how much of the turnovers is just early season young guys, just you guys kind of getting back into a groove against a defense that's not your own? Yeah, I mean, I don't think it was our young guys at all. I mean, I had six of them, so I think that's my job, and I got to be better at that. And I was just careless with it, and I mean, you can say 15 assists, but I'm looking at the six turnovers, and I got to be better at that. Brady, we saw uh, CJ kind of provide a spark off the bench there. How much does a young guy like that take off of your guys' plate? Oh, a lot. And just having him, I mean, he understands the game. Um, he's a smart player, and obviously you guys have seen it. He can make his own shot whenever he needs to, and he's a really good defender. So him coming in and making those few de defensive plays that he did and just playing his role, I thought he did a great job, and he did what he could. Fletcher, we've seen times last year where the guy with the high hand was going to get a lot of minutes. In the first half, Miles obviously comes in, gives you a spark, and gets 14 points in, I think, nine minutes. How dangerous is this team? There's no Zach, but it seems like there's a lot of options here that can kind of give you that, that kind of boost each night. But yeah, this team has so much talent. Uh, up and down the board, you see it. So a guy like Miles can go out there and make four threes and a half. It's just what this roster has. And, but now it's not that. It's, it's us putting it together, us doing the right thing, us doing our job while we're playing hard and playing fast. If they get up and pressure us, we got to take care of it. If they don't, we got to execute. So it's a matter of us just putting things together and everybody's sticking with us. There's going to be bumps in the road, and we're going to have a rough first and second half and find a way to win by 17. But it's just a matter of us sticking together and figuring things out. Brayden, how's this different from, from the ball that Daniel and ball screen 
train falls from you, which is what you're used to. Yeah, I mean, Zach was a really good roller, and Daniel's starting to get there and get that feel. Obviously, we haven't played a lot together, so we've only been together a couple months. So, I mean, we're learning, and I'm helping them through that every single day. And then with TK, it just gives us a different look because he's able to short roll and then make a play off of that, whether it's for himself or to a driving kick to whoever we whoever whoever else we have out there. So. It really just depends. I mean, obviously, having Zach, it's, it's a different look, but Daniel's for sure getting there, and TK, obviously, it's a different look. Uh, Fletcher, you want to see your freshman grow. You want to give them really good situations to help them improve, but when, it, when they get within three, how much does the experience of this group up here need to kick in at that point? <laughs> yeah, I think it, it just gets to a point you gotta sit in the huddle and calm everybody down. You gotta make adjustments, you gotta put the foot on the gas and winning by we don't wanna win by seventeen. We know we're not happy with this win. We know we got a lot to improve on, but it's it's talking to him, telling Jacar to keep shooting it. He hadn't made a shot, I think he might have airballed one. It's I see him to get the shots up every day, I see him make them in practice. So tell him to keep shooting it, and he gets a huge one for us. It's continuing to talk to the young guys, making sure that we're not panicked. Well, I know that for sure. And uh, just making sure they're not panicked because we're in our home crowd and we're, we weren't going to lose that game. So it's a matter of just calling them down and talking to them. Like just how important is that as you guys get through this non-conference schedule? Yeah. It's, on your experience to, to navigate it, this. It's really important. There's going to be bumps. It's going to be hard. It's um, We didn't win back-to-back -back Big Ten championships just cruising down the road. It was tough. It was We fought every day. We got better as the season went on, and we pushed each other. So. We're going to get back to practice. We're going to continue pushing each other and making sure we're ready to go. Uh, uh, Trey, how comfortable are you are you now making that cross board pass, you know, slips, and things like that? I think at least one of your assists was to Miles there when you slipped and you were facing him and throw the ball across the floor. Well, yeah, I think that was out of a um, that was out of a specific play, but we get to that action a lot. Um, when we worked on that in the walkthrough today. Um, we knew they were going to hedge, and so we're trying to you know. Like you said, slip out of that screen, and there was just an option. Um, if he was going to stay down on Daniel, I was going to hit Miles. If he was going to stay down on Miles, I was going to hit Daniel. So I think I'm really comfortable doing that. Jason. Last one, Jason. Fletcher, just how do you feel like you guys did defensively today? Not very good. I think it's um, something that we, we've really harped on because we know we're a very offensive, strong team. We had a lot of talent. It's um, They're a very quick team. They have really quick guards. So they're a good team. But it's uh, us just putting stuff together, doing our job, talking more. We, we got a quiet group of guys, but it's that you can't be quiet on the basketball court. Coach always says that. And it's us doing simple stuff. We messed up a lot of simple things in the first half. And in the second half, it was just keeping them in front of us. They got to the paint way too much. And it's just simple stuff that we talk about and we know. And now it's just a matter of putting it together. Thank you, guys.